What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Moonbill Garage. And today I'm gonna to go over how I made this coffee table. <laughs> Old puppy decided to break the last one. Let's roll that intro. Here are a few close-up shots of how this rustic industrial coffee table turned out. All right, here we are working on the coffee table. Uh, working on the top right now. Very simple design. It's just uh, some two by sixes, cut to size, screwed and glued together. Uh, honestly, you could really probably just do this project with just four simple tools, really. Just a simple saw for cutting your lumber down to size, a hacksaw for cutting the black pipe used for the legs, we'll discuss that later, a screwdriver, and an Allen wrench. Now, I'm not going to get into the specific dimensions of this table or specific lengths of individual cuts and things like that because the table I'm building would probably be different than, say, what you would want to build for your needs. Um, that being said, I mean, obviously you can see behind me here, I'm using power tools uh, just because I have them, but it can be done with just simple tools, really. Uh, you can see here I'm using a pocket hole jig to hold my top together you don't have to you don't have to do that you can just take a piece of your scrap two by six because I have about four feet left over from the wood that I bought and a two foot section right here would actually be enough to lay across screw in to the top from the bottom and use that to hold your top together instead of using pocket hole jig and, and screwing it and gluing it that way. This would work just fine. I mean, you see, I'm sure you all saw growing up picnic tables put together that way where the you have a support piece down below where your top is attached to. Plenty strong enough, will last forever. Um, me, I just like the clean look of using the, the pocket holes. Oops. Uh, I like the clean look of using the pocket holes. They're, you know, all the screws are, are hidden underneath. And just for me, I, I really like that detail and the way the way that that system works so uh yeah let's get back to work and finish this thing up all right so i just got the legs finished up on this thing let me uh show you what we're doing here are the legs all they are are some black pipe and different fittings that I picked up at Lowe's. Uh, this pipe's not something that you would get for doing any kind of plumbing work or gas lines or anything. It seems like they carry this stuff specifically for doing projects like this. So it's just a matter of finding how you want to configure your legs and the braces and pick up the material that you need. And then just you know measure where you want the legs to mount and then measure your cross beams and cut everything to fit. This part, you know, like I said, could be done with a simple hacksaw. I happen to use a uh, four and a half inch grinder just because it's so much faster. But, you know, like I said, this project could be done with the simplest of hand tools. 
So uh, now it's going to be time to, I've already started doing some sanding, uh, but I got a lot more sanding to go, and then uh, we'll do the, we'll do the, uh, the stain on this. So I'll check back in a little bit when, once uh, I get to staining.
it is. It's an espresso stain. Uh, it's nice and dark. Uh, I figured that since my the couches and the chairs in my family room are all real, are all really light colored, that by having a dark coffee table, it should be a nice uh, contrast in color. <clears throat> and my uh, the rest of my like my my TV surround and and all that is also really dark. So I think this will be a nice piece. It's not as dark as my TV surround. That's practically black. But uh, between the the dark or other furniture and the and the light couch and chairs, this will be a nice uh, nice contrast in the room and should go really well. So the only thing I've left to do is wait for this to dry, and then I'm going to do a couple coats of a clear satin polycarbonate on top of it, on top of it, and uh, that should help protect it from kids and pets and things like that. So once it's done, we'll uh, see how it turns out. Keep watching.
everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.